DC Comics has been having a bit of a problem lately getting comic books on time. We've got a list, a comprehensive list, of all the comic books that have been delayed. And these, a lot of these have been delayed quite a bit. And there's one that stands out as really more embarrassing than the most. Somehow, DC Comics have let their Black History Month celebration comic slip until June. Apparently, they just couldn't, they couldn't meet the deadline on that Black History Month comic book. In fact, it has slipped three times. Initially, it was scheduled for 8 February. Then it was slipped to 22 February. And now it is 14 June, a mere four months after Black History Month obviously <laughs> ends. This is supposed to be celebrating Black History Month. Apparently, maybe DC Comics don't take that as seriously as they would like you to believe. Some of you may say, Wes, maybe you just misunderstood what milestones in history number one is supposed to be. Perhaps releasing in the same month was just a mere coincidence. But I say no, because we do have the DC Comics solicitation information. And I'm going to read it verbatim. And this is going to make you laugh. This is, this is ridiculous. Celebrate Black History Month the milestone way as the super-powered citizens of Dakota, including static, icon, rocket, hardware, and more, narrate the true stories of black trailblazers from across human history, witness the military campaigns of Hannibal and the Queen of Sheba, the literary accomplishments of Alexander Dumas, and the World won dogfights of Eugene Bullard against the legendary Red Baron, and many, many more, all written and drawn by a who's who of comics and literary talent. This 96-page anthology honors black history from around the world in a beautiful prestige format book. In the climate and market that we're in today, yes, there are going to be delays. There are some times that they're going to have to push back an issue a, a week or two or sometimes maybe a month or two. But this is utter incompetence. There's one black history month, and it's February. If you were the employee at DC Comics that was in charge of the Black History Month celebration comic, Milestones in History Number 1, you had one job. Get the fucking comic book out in February in time for Black History Month and celebrate not only the characters of Milestone, but some of these historical figures in Black History. And somehow they've managed to not do that. Yet these dickheads, these assholes, can, can release unabated 12 issues of Detective Comics weekly. We couldn't push one of those back a month? Now, I understand this is an anthology and likely is a hard, hard stock cover comic book. Hey, I bet you maybe for one month, maybe February, you just don't offer the cardstock variant option for, for Batman and Detective Comics. Boom! You could probably produce this comic in time and deliver it to people. But then they would be losing out on some of that, that extra dollar where they're they're gouging people for liking Batman too much. And, you know, so the, the Batman tax, as I like to call it. Another issue about this that I do find ironic. Yes, we do have the milestones in history being delayed out of Black History Month. But you're going to get your ratio Black History Month variants on time. Oh, you're damn right. We're going to make sure you get all those Black History Month variants in the month that they're supposed to happen. It's easy to determine what DC Comics priority right now. It is to sell the same exact comic book to multiple people multiple times. It's not to celebrate Black History Month. Unless it's a ratio variant cover where they can gouge you. If they wanted to put this out on time, they would have put it out on time. Believe me, DC Comics editorial and publishing aren't going to miss an issue of Detective Comics Shadow of the Bat. That thing is important. Obviously, in their minds, milestones in history, the celebration of Black History Month is not important. Once again, pretty much confirming that a lot of this stuff... These messages that these corporate entities like to put out are pandering bullshit. If they really cared about Black History Month and Black comic book characters and elevating and providing a platform for them during Black History Month, it would have got out on time. Everyone at DC Comics should be embarrassed, in my opinion. This is stupid. These are these are problems that you really just shouldn't have. And I'm sure everyone noticed that they got their Valentine's Day special comic out on time. But priorities, am I right? It's not just a Milestones in History number one Black History Month celebration comic that's been pushed. Every single one of their Milestone miniseries have been pushed. Static number six was supposed to come out 30 November. It's been moved to Mar 1 March. Couldn't even get that one in February. Icon and Rocket number six. Originally scheduled to come out on 28 December, has been moved back to 8 March. Hardware number four, originally scheduled for 9 November, is going to make it in time in 22 February. So at least one of them, I guess, makes it in on time. DC Comics let all three of their milestone miniseries suffer massive delays. They let their Black History Month milestone special miss Black History Month by four months in total. These are the very few comic books that Marvel Comics are publishing aimed directly at black readers. How can DC Comics leadership editorial let these types of things happen? Like, what do you think about this? To me, it feels like DC Comics, along with a lot of corporate entities out there, they want the virtue signal. But when it's time to go out there and get the product out there to market, hey, 
There were four comics. Well, there's more than that, but these are four of the comics that they decided just weren't weren't important enough to get out on time. Is this all a coincidence? I don't think that there's a concerted effort at DC Comics to marginalize black characters and black creators and comic books aimed directly at black uh black readers. But it is clear to me that when it was time to make the hard choices, what comic books are going to get delayed, what things are going to be put on time, that they did kind of put the black imprint that they have that's aimed for black readers on the back burner. And I I just, I can't see that as a coincidence. That seems like a conscious, you know, business decision that they decided to make. And me personally, I'm going to remember this the next time DC Comics or AT&T or Warner Media when it comes over to Discovery, when they go out there and they start virtue signaling about, oh, we support Black History Month and we're all about Black creators and Black comic books and Black characters and like, well, you had an opportunity to have your actions speak louder than your words. And they spelled pretty loud to me that that's not the truth. They took a back burner even during Black History Month. That's just the way I take it. There are some other delays that I mentioned earlier that I do need to get to. The other kind of big one out there that I was a little bit surprised by, Suicide Squad Get Joker number one and two, if you remember, came out in August and September. Issue number three from Brian Azzarello and Alex Believe, originally scheduled for 5 October, initially slipped to 25 January, and then 1 March, and now it is at a firm release date, possibly, of 19 April. That is a mere six and a half months after it was originally scheduled. That is only a three-issue story. You only have the what issue left to release. If DC Comics readers, if comic book fans can't expect DC Comics to be able to put out a three-issue miniseries on time, why invest in any of these books or these stories that aren't Batman if DC Comics is going to continuously let you know that they're not all that interested in getting these things published and out in time? It's a three-issue series. I understand this is another one of those prestige plus format sizes. Maybe you need to stop publishing in it. Just publish plus size comic books and take a dollar or two off the cover price. I know bleeding Batman and Black Label customers for every penny you can get out of them seems to be the corporate mandate right now. But come on, let's get some books out on time. There are some other delays that I need to mention. Superman versus Lobo number three, originally scheduled to come out in 28 December, is coming out in 8 March. Once again, this is a three-issue story, I believe. But... The good news is it is Tim, Tim Seeley and ain't nobody missing that, right? We'll call this one a happy accident on DC Comics part. And, uh, you know, thank you. I don't understand how Tim Seeley was able to take a Superman versus Lobo comic and make it not cool. It feels like the premise itself and the name of the comic book and the covers that you would be able to put on it would just lend itself to being popular and just kind of being a hit. Maybe not a bad band sized hit, but a hit in and of itself. Just go to show you, throw Tim Seeley on a comic book. You might just ruin it. Watch out. For our, our Robins review tomorrow with Doc, we did not like that Robins number four at all. Another Tim Seeley special. Now, I know I was harping out on Batman, so there are a couple of Batman comics that are being delayed. The biggest one of note to me is Batman One Dark Knight number two, originally supposed to come out 22 February, has been moved back to 22 March. Shocking, it's Batman, so it only got pushed by a month. But I am a little bit shocked that they let this happen to a Batman Black Label series. This must not have sold very much. Me, personally, I thought the first issue was pretty damn good. I thought Jock brought the heat with that one. Not the most original story I've ever read, but I thought it fit Gotham and Batman and certainly the art that Jock was putting out there. So it's a little bit disappointing, but because you're a Batman fan, you don't have to wait too long. A couple of other Batman comics of note that have been delayed Catwoman Lonely City number three has been moved from 15 March to 19 April. Once again, it's only a month. And this is another one of those three issue prestige plus format books from DC Black Label. And also Batman 89. Now, this one definitely got delayed. Superman 78 is already done, but Batman 89 number five, originally scheduled for 14 December, has been pushed back to 8 March after four delays in total. Number six, obviously, has also slipped from 11 January to 29 March. I'm a little bit surprised about that one. I think that they probably didn't deliver on Batman 89, what I think a lot of readers kind of anticipated them to deliver. Doesn't really feel like it's in Tim Burton's Batman universe that he established, you know, with the original Batman movie. I guess if you were going to delay another Batman comic, Batman 89 would have been it. I just didn't think the quality was there. There are also a shit ton, and I didn't mean a shit ton, of collected editions that got delayed, whether it be trades, graphic novels, hardcovers, omnibuses. There's a full list in the video description. It is a bleeding cool article, but I archived it so you don't have to go and, and risk yourself getting any malware or whatever. You can click on that and you won't have to get all the pop-ups and all that. But it is a very extensive list as far as the collected editions of DC Comics that are getting pushed. Not really surprised that that's happening because those do take more paper 
and certainly are a higher quality, you know, with your covers and everything. Massive delays at DC Comics are ongoing. One of them in particular is just absolutely, it's incompetence. It's embarrassing. How do you let your Black History Month celebration comics slip to June? DC Comics had three ongoing miniseries aimed directly at the black market. All of those got massive delays as well. Only one of them is going to have an issue release in February in time for Black History Month. You can paint her all you want, DC Comics, but your actions speak louder than words. When push came to shove and it was time to move a comic book out of February, it was the Black History Month celebration comic that had to go. We can't remove the cardstock variant covers from Batman and Detective Comics and get this anthology out on time. It's embarrassing. DC Comics did manage to finish one series in February written by a black creator with some rather negative stereotypes, in my opinion, in the comic book. If you haven't seen this review of Harley Quinn Eat Bang Kill Tour, like you have to check it out to believe it. It is one of the worst written comic books you could ever imagine. There's no way they should have gotten this out and not Milestones in History. 